okay again do not pull tight you don't want to create tension right here which will eventually create breakage okay? hey guys what is up it is your girl Simone here welcome back to my channel if you're new make sure you go ahead and subscribe all right guys so for this braidless sewing wait what for this braidless tutorial what you're gonna really need is just rubber bands and that's pretty much it. If you're totally against rubber bands, this might not be the tutorial for you. Not everyone knows how to braid and not everyone knows how to flat twist. This is gonna be really effective and efficient for those that can't braid, okay? If you've ever seen braidless sew-ins or anything like that, a lot of the times they use rubber bands. <laughs> if not, then they use the little clips that you use for micro links. So it's either or, but I have rubber bands. I don't have the things for micro links. And again, if you're not experienced, you probably shouldn't use that because you can take off your hair. Before we get started, um, I am using a new product from a company called Rev Air. <laughs> My dog's doing the most weirdest things right now. I've heard of them. I've seen them all over Instagram. It's like a blow dryer, but it kind of like blow dryers for you. They sent me one, so technically this video is slightly sponsored. <laughs> all my own opinions. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Now, some things that I do wanna point out to you guys before we get started. One, I do have eat is what it is. I like to straighten my hair. Two, I just washed my hair about a couple seconds ago. My hair dries very quick, so it's kind of damp slash kind of dry. Uh, here's a bottle that they gave me, and I already have water in it, but I'm gonna be using my favorite argan oil um, from Cream of Nature. I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. Then what I'm gonna do is put this in there and then just kinda give it a nice, they give it this towel. Okay, so I have my hair parted into four sections. If your hair is thicker than this, then go ahead and part it into smaller sections. I might have to actually part my hair into smaller sections, but just to get the gist, I did part it into four for you guys. They provided some hair clips. I'm gonna be using my Denman brush. I'm just going to take out one section and I'm gonna spray it. Two of my most favorite products that to me is like a must have, must use. Um, I am gonna be using this from Bell's Essentials. They, you can find them on Instagram. Oil is amazing. It's super thick though. And I actually like what it's doing for my hair. It feels moisturized like even weeks later. And then I have this other one from them which is uh, a hair growth oil. And squeeze it with, and it's a nice thin oil. <laughs> Let's see. So let's see how this works. I'm scared. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what the hell I was doing. First of all, it's not hot, so I don't know if it's supposed to be hot. I mean, does that prevent it from being heat damage or something? I don't know, this is actually, it's cool, right, Zoe? So I didn't get the roots, but again, this is my test run because I don't even know if what I'm doing is right. <laughs> what about me? Do me. Try dreads. Come. The longer you keep it in one section, the more it straightens, okay? Um, there is some heat to this. I have mines on level five, and then I also have this on the highest, going up to, you can see there's two dashes, and then there's one dash right here. I have mines on the two dashes. And then just brush it out after. It gives it like a more smoother finish. Amazing. So, 
My hair feels really good. It's nice and straight. I'm actually highly impressed. <laughs> uh, I love it. Ugh. This is it, by the way. Ignore the oil stain. But you can see right here is where you turn the dial. Uh, increase the speed. <laughs> Another way that I've seen people apply rubber bands without it ripping their hair is by dousing the rubber bands in oil. So it's totally up to you on what you want to do. Go ahead and start parting your hair like you would when you're doing cornrows. You don't have to do your parts super small. You can do the medium. Now the braids that I like to do medium, super small, are the ones that are going towards my parting section. And the reason why I do these, whether it's braids, flat twists, or rubber bands, is because this is where you do your middle parts, your side parts your whatever parts and you don't want it to be lumpy up here the only reason why people have high heads or high wigs is one they didn't hot comb their wig they didn't flatten it down or two they have a very lumpy foundation underneath their wig oh my lips is joy and then i'm just gonna actually just separate the rest of my hair what you're gonna do is put it into squares now you can go crazy and you can add 15 rubber bands going all the way back but you don't have to okay it needs less that I'm gonna go ahead and do less <laughs> Guys, this does not have to be tight. Do not make your rubber bands tight. The whole point of protective styling and styling your hair underneath, whether it's braids or rubber bands, whatever, is you still wanna have hair when you take off your wig and take out your braids or take out your rubber bands. And being very gentle, still treating your hair properly and being very gentle. You don't want your hair to be super tight and in excruciating pain underneath your wig. So don't do this tight. Honestly, just do a few loops. We don't wanna put any stress or anything on our edges so if you can see I still have some kind of space underneath whereas if you were to go ahead and squeeze this it would be at its tightest we don't need that and then take this one and put it into this one so we're just creating like a little train really again do not do this tight we don't want to lose hair in the process of doing a protective style hence the name protective to the second to last one on your second row you're gonna take the hair from the first row and you're gonna pull that up into this neck into the second row okay again do not pull tight you don't want to create tension right here which will eventually create breakage okay you just want to slightly pull it up so that means you're going to include it into this piece that you're going to put in a ponytail include this piece and include this piece now if your hair is super 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 thick eh, just kind of pin it up okay So you see from the front, it's super flat. Now this is flatter than big old bulky doodle braids, okay? <laughs> the first row is also very important. When you do this, you don't want your rubber band to be at the front front of your hairline. Again, we want flatness. Just take this piece of hair and just slide it back as far as I can to make this be as smooth as possible, as possible, wow. As hot as possible.
guys, so what I'm going to do now is you can see I have a ponytail. I'm just going to take my rubber bands and just kind of put it at the ends. So you it can kind of like turn into skinny, skinny up. Make my ponytail skinny, okay? So then we have that. And I'm just going to take this. And I'm actually going to just twist 